Hi guys, today we're just going to be watching top five parents go crazy on Fortnite. Some parents are pretty strict because they don't understand the hit online sensation that is Viva Piñata. I, I, sorry, did I say Viva Piñata? I, I meant, uh, for, Fortnite. <laughs> but the least you can do is be understanding of your kids that play the game. Some parents are the type to yeah. rip the cord out before even trying to understand. They're just like, Why would you do and that? You, you know like what? Sometimes you deserve to get the sauce from mom because you're being a you're little, you know what? Parents. And neglecting to be a somewhat decent human being and doing that thing that mom or dad asked you to do about 20 times. But welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, everyone. Where today we break down the top five parents who hate Fortnite with a passion. Oh my. I hate the parents that hate Fortnite. Fortnite. One thing we get so asked a lot here on the channel is, is Top 5 Gaming, how do you make so many so videos? Way. Well, just like learning how to play Fortnite, you can also learn how to edit sick clips, make YouTube and Twitch banners Don't like ninjas by signing up to skill sets because a teammate thought it would be funny to shoot you. 50. Trolling. Attempt to build a sky base there within these game modes and you'd be falling you'll to your death because a teammate thought it would be funny to shoot you out. Maybe you've been knocked down and a friendly teammate decides to pick you up. A troll could come along at any moment and do everything they can to prevent the revive from being successful. Destroying the floor, throwing boogie bombs or shockwaves, and just remember to try and keep oh your boy. cool about these moments around your parents though. One over-the-top reaction could give them permanent negative feelings towards the game, which seems very likely for the dad in this clip. I swear to God, if you do it again, I'm... So what? No, so what? I'm not I'm mostly in the game. She's being rude. I can't take it when she's building walls. Oh well. No, not a well. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Stop! Yeah, be nice. No, she keeps me in the walls. Oh. I'm trying to fight. No, that's a lot. Ah! I hate you. No! Get off of me! Right. I get it. Okay, the kid was being trolled a lot. All he wants to do is have some fun with Fortnite, no matter how good he may be. But when you've got Mr. Tomato Head here preventing you from being able to play the game, it's kind of understandable why he got upset. The only thing he needs to learn now is how to yeah. vent that frustration properly without it ending in dad telling him Fortnite time is over and to turn off the console altogether. <laughs> Number four, Jesus wants you to buy Fortnite skins. <laughs> Something Fortnite has done like no other game so far is managed to bring many parents around the world together in their collected hate for the game. Kids will try anything to get those new skins and accessories, but when you attempt to use your family's religion as an excuse to get V-Bucks, it's gonna leave most parents pretty frustrated. Whoever created Fortnite, whoever you are out there, I need you to know Kim what you're Sweeney. doing to parents See across the globe, games. okay? Because Don't your game has completely taken over it. and our children have become total addicts. This child is continuously coming to ask me for money to buy virtual products in your game. Virtual skins, virtual jackets, virtual dance moves. That, Look, that, that, that's these how things I that are not business. tangible that nobody's stupid? actually going to get. It's just some some made up thing I in a game. Then he money. says to me, well mom, there's only 13 hours left uh, or, or I'm not gonna be able to buy this skin. I have to do it now. They're gonna take it away. I won't be able to do it. It's, it, it, it's a one time books. only sale. I have to do it now. And I said, you need to stop. We are done. We are not having this conversation. No, no nothing. You're not getting anything. And he said, looked at me and he says, mom, do you remember when we were in church last week and the man was asking for bread because he needed to be fed and Jesus said, all you need to do is ask and you shall receive? He is trying to use Bible verses to get me to buy him Fortnite skins. <laughs> he has lost his ever-loving mind. I would really like the people who no, created this Fortnite you. to call me because we need to talk about what you yeah, need to do for us parents because this is making us games, crazy. I am so done with Fortnite. This is one of the biggest and most short-sighted excuses from parents as to why spending money on in-game purchases is supposedly stupid. It's, it's not tangible. Basically meaning it's not a real item. It's not like a t-shirt you could buy in the shop, so therefore, in her eyes, it has no real value and it's a waste of money that could be put to better use. But this is all based on people's personal opinions. We each value things differently, and the best we can do is be empathetic to what other people value and not just what's important to you. Like the fact that this mom has an engagement ring the size of 
Texas, yet wants private calls and deals made from Epic Games because her son asked for a few bucks for a game he enjoys. Yeah. I don't know. Number three is getting scammed. You've probably seen a whole bunch of videos on YouTube, including some of our own, about the different scams that can happen in Fortnite. The fact is that Fortnite is the biggest game on the planet right now. Just let that sink in for a moment. There are a bunch of aliens up there looking down on us. All they would really see is a vast nice. amount of us playing Fortnite. That's how Earth looks right now. But a lot of not so nice people are using this to their advantage with scams. They've been given the nickname scammers, which doesn't sound too bad, but just remember that some of these scammers are no different than a full on con artist you'd find stealing credit cards and pin numbers on the street and where nice. there's big money there's potential for scams this 13 year old spent more than three hundred dollars of his own money on the game to buy his avatar cool clothes called skins and accessories but recently yeah. another That's gamer it. convinced the teen to give him his username and password with the well, promise that the gamer would give him more skins he gave me his email and password and then he said Why don't, don't log in but i'm just giving proof that I'm not gonna Why scam you. you. I never got to log in again. They switched my password and everything. And since mom Amy's credit card number was attached to the game, the scammer had access to that too for purchases within the game. And for an added crack. insult, the Truthful. scammer killed off the teen's character in which he had invested hundreds of dollars. I feel sorry nice. for him, but I also have told him it's a lesson learned. The family is speaking out now to protect other families from these scammers. I think it's an eye opener, you know, when it happens to you, you nice. just want other parents to be aware. In all fairness, the mother and son seem to have handled the situation fairly well, but you can just imagine the worry the mom must have had when her son tells her he's been scammed and the account has all of her bank details on it. He not only has a Fortnite account worth $300, but also the ability to purchase all the V-Bucks in the world with that added bank details. This is one of the many examples as to why Fortnite tell you never to share your personal account details. Number two, Fortnite has become such an ingrained part of some people's lives to the point that talk shows are constantly bringing them up in terms of morals and how it's affecting the younger generations. And on this particular show, you have the questioning presenter and the forensic scientist, attorney, and co-founder of the Technology and Wellness Institute, Melissa Westerndorf, generally talking about how addictive Fortnite is. I didn't get it at first, but the multiple platform, what you're saying is people can play it on their PC, but it's also available on Xbox if your kids have the access to that type of system as well as PlayStation. Correct. So, and on their phones, and they now can play it mobile. mobile. Yes, now it's mobile. So you really can't play actual, with any so of your friends can't. at this point. You're and, uh, you know, they built in all this you know, these characteristics that make it more uh, obsessive, I guess, for the kids. Lucky. You know, you have skins you can buy uh, so that they look different. Um, I've been recently learning about dances you can buy when you're, before you take the battleship to the island to battle it out. You can buy dances and dance moves. Um, and, and that's the thing I want to get to is why is it though that parents should be worried about this game? Well, because this game has built in uh, uh, things that make it obsessive that makes you want to do it again you are going to parents are going to I haven't met a single person who hasn't had a problem with getting their kid off the device as much as I can understand her point the fact that this obsessive factor Fortnite have put into the game is something nearly every single company of any kind in the entire world do most societies nowadays are based on materialism and consumerism well, every company wants you to buy their product every company wants you to be obsessed with their product no matter how new or functional it may actually be take a look at cars we have all the variety we could need but they keep producing more even yeah. if they have no real new functionality just to make some money. It's the same with designer clothes. The only difference is that most adults don't have much empathy or understanding of how successful the gaming industry actually is. Honorable mention, the rage monster. So every now and then you might be playing with a random or a friend who isn't particularly good at the game, and it can sometimes result in you getting killed. For some, it'll cause you to rage. Maybe you yeah. just really want that victory royale, or perhaps uh, you're in full tryhard mode, but yeah, getting killed to a stupid mistake can either leave you fuming or in I, some cases I laughing at what just what happened. A lot of streamers so in full Full-time gamers actually have their own boxing bag or device they can freely punch to release some of that tension. For this kid, though, it's on a level that just isn't really acceptable. Shut up! I'm better than you. Now, you guys are horrible at building. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead! Watch! You guys stop! Why? 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 You came to watch Definitely, that's how he sounds.
No! You know I've recorded you the whole time. What? I hate you! I hate you! Stop it! I I hate you! <laughs> mom! 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 No! I hate you! Wait, <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> All right, I get it, kid. You're pretty mad. But the fact is that no one should really have to be spoken to like that. And in most cases, the parents will have to step in and use some form of punishment to teach the child. Maybe you got grounded, had your console taken away, or given extra chores. The fact is we all probably stepped over the line at some point and got some form of punishment. And as much as we hated it, it definitely taught us all valuable lessons. Number one is parents left concussed. So for a lot of cases that involve Fortnite addiction, it usually stems from something past Fortnite. It's just just that Fortnite is so popular that it becomes the face for the gaming addiction discussion in general. And a common article that popped up quite frequently a while back by Mirror was about a Fortnite addicted 14 year old that headbutted his mother and left her with a concussion. I thought he was feeling sick because he was saying, Mom, I've got a headache. The kids who don't leave their rooms because they can't stop playing video games. I mean, it's two years since he's been to school. They're out of control. I have been headbutted, I've had concussion. It sounds like you're frightened of me. Yep. Now we know yeah. what's really happening inside their young minds. Planned brain death. I kind of miss having, like, friends, but I got friends online. Experts say it's a new, irreversible brain change. In psychological terms, this is an emergency. Science. An important health warning for all parents. Those brain cells can't be gotten back. Is it too late to save them? The child you've lost, mm -hmm. as you've described, do you believe you'll find him again? hope i'll never give up 60 minutes sunday the mother has stated that he has ADHD, anxiety issues, and that since he bought the console two years ago, he's more or less stopped going to school altogether and stays at home gaming, where he will frequently have aggressive episodes, which have had to leave the parents calling the police on occasion. And she said that we can't get him to school and he doesn't leave the house. He comes out and eats and goes back to his room. We've tried everything. We've tried doctors. And my concern is that he's in year eight now and he hasn't had any formal education for two years. So what's going to happen later on in life for him? As the article says, this has been going on for two years and when this article was written fortnite battle royale hadn't even been out for a year so fortnite was just the face of this a specific thing they could blame when the reality is that this is a deeper problem that i hope eventually the family can sort out together so that has been our list of the top five parents who hate Fortnite. Listen, parents, if you're watching this video try to resolve it I'm with your kid parent. try not to be so uptight about it Bye. try to un thanks for watching guys please